Hey, call me Louis. This is my spot. Louis spot. I I'm going to put a series of questions to you and you can put them down to bad experiences in the past. I see that you were involved prosecutorially in the magistracy yes. at really bad times during our country's history. Yes. One was during the years of student uprising, other was, was in states of emergency and increased uh, labor resistance to the apartheid state. And you served as a prosecutor both in, from 75 and then later from 86 to 93. Yes. Uh, you know, the experiences that we had, general, in, generally speaking, there may have been exceptions, was that in those days, there was very, it was very difficult to discern a division between the prosecutorial staff and the magistracy. I'd just like for you to explain to us how, given that setup, what it was like for you at that time as a prosecutor and as a magistrate and the, the sea change that has now had to occur uh, when you were acting. And, and let me say, I accept what the Judge President put to you, that you, you know you assault that makes yourself available, so I'm willing to give you credit for that. I'd just like to have your response to that and, and how you've, you've undergone this change and the commitment to the new constitution, particularly given the past. Yes, well, you know, um it was difficult in those days as a prosecutor. You know, you had to prosecute people um, that, um, you know, for, 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 for uh, it was perhaps a riot or that type of uh, assemble, people who assemble, and that it was unlawful at, the, at that stage for people to assemble or to demonstrate. So you had to prosecute those people. Um, and uh, but when when I joined the bar, you know, you came to a different conclusion. You you you, you when you you look at the, our constitution, you know that we've done done a lot a lot of wrong in the past, and uh, uh, well, I came to the to the view that. Uh, things must change. We must all change for a better uh, South Africa. And um, I think since I've started at the bar, uh, you see things different from a different angle. And I've been magistrate, I've been on, on, on the side of the prosecution, I've been on the side of, I was a magistrate. And when you sit as a judge, acting as a judge, you see things from a different perspective. And then what is very important is our constitution, that one must comply with and to promote the aims of our constitution. Could I, you know, what, what struck me in those days particularly was young, young children who were often public violence cases. Yes. And, and the sentences were particularly vicious. Yes. Uh, it, it, it always struck me as one of the big sins of the past. Did you have any experience of that? And I, I'm just trying to figure out whether, how it affected your psyche, whether you were involved in that. And I understand that we all now have to change and we, we have to accept it. we have a commitment to the Constitution, but perhaps you can just talk about that a bit. Well, if you look at it retrospectively now, that, you know, uh, it was very difficult. I, you had to do a job as a prosecutor. You, if people break the law, you had to, you had to prosecute them. You, uh, you haven't got a discretion. Uh, you had to follow the, the law. And um, whereas today it's totally different. And uh, one regret for what happened at the past, but uh, there's nothing I can change about that now. Fortunately, we've got the Constitution now and that uh, we must follow the aims and we must promote the Constitution. But it was, for me as a prosecutor, not always easy during those days to be a prosecutor. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. If we were a prosecutor in the 80s, maybe we've met before. <laughs> <laughs> As a 
public violence accused him. <laughs> no, but on a, on a serious note, I'd like to, to find out. Well, you say that, uh, of course, you're right that you know, one cannot change the past. And uh, you did some regrettable things then maybe as a prosecutor or as a magistrate. What are those things? Well, to, to, to sentence someone that's been convicted and you don't actually agree with the, well, as a, as a magistrate, you know, you don't agree, someone who, who now have got the right to assemble or to demonstrate, those days uh, it was an offence and uh, you had to, to prosecute them, you had to convict them, and you had to impose a sentence. So it, was, it wasn't that easy, although you know that you know, this is not fair. You had to impose a sentence because according to the law. Well, it depends on what type of sentence you impose. I mean, one can always impose a, a suspended sentence you had to consider the circumstances of the client, um, his personal circumstances, uh, look at his, the, his age, all those aspects you must take into consideration. How many staff members do you have in your office, not in the group, your office? In my staff, in my office, mm. only one receptionist and uh, I use a, a typist that's not permanently in my service. We, as a group, use the, the typist. So how many, do you, how many are you in the office? You are three. It's you, the PA, and the typist. Uh, yes, the receptionist and, and the typist. In your office? Yes. And then how many are black people? Uh, the receptionist is a, is a black woman. Um, have you ever visited a township? Yes. Where? When I was in Bopitotswana, on many occasions we had to go into the townships. Where? In which, which township? In Kharankwa, uh, uh, Winterfeld. Can you speak any indigenous? Can you speak any indigenous language? No, no. Why? I cannot. I cannot give you a reason for that. I can hear uh, Chief Justice. I cannot Justice. give you a reason why I cannot speak. Uh, yeah, have you ever seen any need to learn language. indigenous languages? Yes, I, I think it's a need to... to it's, it will be a, um, a good thing to, 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 to speak a, a, an African language. But you still didn't see any need to learn it when you think it's a good thing to... No, know. I did not. You didn't see any need to learn African language? No, sir. Do judges have a role to play when it comes to transformation? Yes. What role will you play to transform society as a judge? Well, sir, maybe to give you an example, uh, I've attached uh, a letter or email to my application form where a black woman appeared in my court in an opposed matter and she appeared in person. And I've guided her right through the proceedings. Um, and at the end of the day, I ruled in her favor she wrote a comment to the judge president. Maybe I can, if I can refer to that document. <clears throat> it was, uh, the lady was Busizwe Maduna. She wrote that, Your Lordship, please allow me, and this is a letter that was, an uh, email that was addressed to the uh, Judge President. Your Lordship, please allow me to extend my sincere gratitude to the High Court, and in particular, Judge J.J. Stratum, for the assistance given in my legal case. 
This lady was not represented, as I said, she appeared in person. By way of introduction, I'm a layman in terms of the law, but still represented myself at the High Court recently. I'm a black female, and this was my first time defending myself in a court as a plaintiff. I certainly did not have the correct terminology or know-how of when to even sit or stand. However, the judge and his team guided me through. Um, I was also grateful to some of the advocates showing me Ubuntu and informing me of what to do and when through whispers and hand gestures. Judge J.J. Stratum was courteous on all accounts. And then she ended up by saying that uh, I'm also grateful that Judge J.J. Stratum allowed me to represent myself as I could not afford to have counsel representation. This is the type of compassion that can make a significant contribution to making our society right in at least understanding that we can have access to resources such as the courts with neither fear nor retribution due to a history of economic exclusion. Do you support transformation? Definitely, yes. How does your appointment help us to transform the judiciary? So, as I've, I've already said, um, uh, the, I'm in favor of, of, of transformation, as you, but uh, I cannot say how my appointment will no, no, help you, transformation. You support transformation, therefore yes. you can't be subjective. In supporting transformation, you ought to tell us now, how does appointing you help to transform the judiciary since you are a, a supporter of transformation? No, sir, I don't know. It doesn't help us, right? No. Appoint, appointing you mm -hmm. doesn't help us to transform the judiciary, am I right? Yes. Thank you.